Okay, so um, I I was I gotta say, I was wondering if season two was gonna live, was gonna help keep the the show flowing, and thankfully, it did. Thankfully, it did. <laughs> so with that all being said, there's gonna be my there's gonna be some spoilers mentioned in this video. So if you have not seen season two, get caught up. Get out of here, go watch it, and then come on back and watch it with me. And as I said in my season one review, I'd say if you're gonna watch this one, you might as well watch all of them in order. You know, basically. I mean, like, that's the best way to do it. I mean, I know some of there's some people out there who just prefer to watch two shows and just skip the you know this one, or maybe they want to watch this one and skip one show and then Arrow or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, or whatever. Um, I can't do that. I gotta watch all of them, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean like the, the um, you know the um the story is much more interesting and the plot is more interesting and they have more fun villains this time around. I mean, Venom Savage was pretty cool, but um, if we get to see villains that um, you know, villains to heavy hitters you know, like Malcolm Merlin and Debbie and Dark Reverse Flash, like. Wow, <laughs> I'm like, how are you gonna handle them, especially Reverse Flash, and like, like what? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and also, you know, Rip Hunter steps down as uh, you know as their captain and promotes Sarah as the new captain, and I thought that's pretty awesome. You know, that you know, I, I love how they're you know giving these female characters chances to you know, shine and basically be role models to, you know, to girls and stuff, you know, that, I think that is really awesome. And then we're introduced to a couple new members and, you know, like in the team, you know, like Hawk Girl and Hawkman, you know, they left. Now we got Vixen and then, um, and then I think we, I think his character is called Captain Steel or something like that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's on the tip of my brain. I keep forgetting, but I know, you know, he's, his skin is made of steel. And then he can make it turn into steel. So that that's pretty cool that they got him on there, too. And, um... I mean, yeah, I mean, like... And, like... I gotta say, like, with Damien Dark... He's... He, he is not main villain material. He is not even villain material for... For, um, the Arrow series. He's more, he's, he fits more onto this show. You know, like where his humor, his corny, his corny sense of humor and all that stuff and his, you know, little magic powers and all that stuff, that all fits here where there's, you know, a lot more stuff going on and we're outside of all of our queens, like dark world. And then, and he fits more so here with the other characters. Like, he could have been a villain on The Flash. I mean, that would have been more fitting. That would have been a lot more interesting. Or a villain on Supergirl. You know, stuff like that. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, like, not have him in all, uh, you know, Green Arrow f fight. But, if I mean, the best way I would have had those two fight is if, they, if, if the whole team, like, the Legends, the Flash, Green Arrow, Supergirl, if they all were, they came together. That's, the, that's how I would have it happen. But... Anyway, you know, they're on this goal to look for the Spear of Destiny, and there's, like, you know, pieces everywhere, you know, to find it. And, um, and then there's a point where Rip Hunter lost his memory, and, um, and then he turns bad for, like, a few episodes, and then he eventually comes back to, you know, like, our Rip Hunter is back, and... And I gotta say, I mean, I, I didn't say how much of a strong you know, male lead that he was in the first season. I mean, just with that epic accent and the way he tries to hold the team together and you see that there's flaws in him too. I mean, like, and, and then with good reason, you know, like, you know, he lost his family and he, he basically has the power to go back to try to change that and he does what, he basically tries to do what any of us would want to do, you know, just go back and change that time. And there's even a point where Sarah wanted to go and, go and change that, where she was tempted to do that. But, um, but with a show about time traveling, I mean, like, you know, you gotta, I guess they have to bend the rules a little bit in order to keep the, you know, keep the show going. But, um, so, it, it, it was, you know, it, it, 
I got it. You know, this was a much better season, a much more stronger season than season one, and it didn't feel like a chore as much, you know. And you really feel like it's a family unit, you know, the way they all interact with each other, the way Mick interacts with, um, you know, like with Ray, the way he, the way he interacts with, with poor Doctor Stein. <laughs> I mean, it's just hilarious. I mean, like, that's just his way of... That's just how he is. <laughs> I just love it. He's even funnier in, in this in this season than he was in the last season. <laughs> and, um... So... And... Like, you know, like, with this show, you can't really count on a character to stay dead. I mean, like, yeah, you'll see someone die, but there's a chance that they'll tra time travel and then you see... They come back in some in some other way, shape, or form. Then, um, and when and there was a point where I thought Vixen was killed. Well, yeah, she was killed. And then, and then they found a way to go back in time where you know to try to you know basically fix things with the Spear of Destiny. So the villains, so the Legion of Doom doesn't change. You know, get get the legends all sucked into this alternate reality. And um. And then, you know, with that token, I mean, Vis you, know, you know, Vixen is back, and, like, Ray basically died going back there, and then that takes the, the suspense right out of there, because, you know, we can still fix this, he'll be back, you know, we, we can, you know, his other, you know, his past, his past Ray is okay. And it's funny how that is happening, how, you know, this is where it gets confusing, like, where, you know, where... You know, they basically died or whatever, and then they're not being wiped out of existence. Like how in the first season where they had somebody going to kill their younger selves to wipe them away and all that stuff, and you know, I guess there was you know, according to that that you know they would be wiped away. But here, they're not wiped away. I don't know. That's where it gets confusing. <laughs> but um, and I liked how they brought some main elements from the Flash. You know, like into this, like with, you know, like with reverse, with revert, shit, tongue tied with reverse flash, and how they got the black flash. You know, just you, you know, just to come and collect because he's messing with time and he's being somewhere where he's not supposed to be. And um, yeah, it's like a, I don't know, it's like it's like a thug running from running away from his deck collector. <laughs> like, oh, he knows I'm here. I better get out of here. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, the way Reverse Flash, I mean, the way he had all those kajillion time remnants, it's, he, it's like he had, a, it's like a herd of time remnants. I'm like, what? It's like, it's like on the Matrix with, you know, with the herd of, you know, of H, the herd of Smiths, you know, like where he's everywhere. I'm not like, wow. That was pretty badass. That was pretty, pretty badass. Even though, even though, you just basically some, you just, you know, like, you're basically ringing, ringing the dinner, like, the dinner bell for Black, Black Flash. And then, he shows up, he kills him, and then, <laughs> oh, man. But it was still, this was still a good season, you know, like, I, I'm not gonna get into all of them. And... And I will say this though, you know, that, you know, like when it came time for all of them to cross over, you know, like where Supergirl and Arrow and Green Arrow and The Flash all had to work with them, that was pretty sweet. A pretty sweet ending. Pretty sweet friggin' ending. Like where it just, man, where they had the Hall of Justice building, man. For the next year's crossed over, it's gonna be epic. They better put. Put at least Martian Manhunter into that crossover. And I hope Superman is in there too. Let Superman be in there. Please. But this was a pretty solid season too, like I said. And you got a strong woman, you know, being the captain of the team. And um she's she's been doing pretty damn good. And um you, you know, you got you got villains from um you know, from both Arrow and The Flash, and I gotta say, there was one time where Malcolm Merrill was, where I found him intimidating. Like in the first season, he 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 kind of scared the fuck out of me. 
In season two, he kind of carried out a little bit more, even though we only saw him from like two episodes or some shit. I mean, season three started that, that started to water down for me. You know, he, he's a good fighter and all that, but he's just like no, he's just like a I don't know, he's just a crybaby. <laughs> he's just a crybaby. <laughs> so he's basically useless. You know, like out, you know, like outside of um. You know, like, of what they were, how they were having him into the show. I mean, like, now, I mean, like, just leave that character alone. We don't need to see him. We don't need to see him. He has nothing to serve. He has nothing more to contribute anymore. So, anyway, I gotta say, this, um, this season gets four chairspans out of five. So, here we go. One, two, three, and four chairspans. So... Um, I don't know what else to say. I mean, um, oh yeah, so like with the ending, you know, like where you see that them going back in time, we get to get a small, small sample of what those repercussions are. And then we see dinosaurs in the city and shit. It looks like primal rage. Like what the hell? I mean, there's probably more going on there, but I don't think it's just going to be them fighting dinosaurs, but maybe it is and I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And like, as they get away from that world and then they go to this world, um, you know what this show reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Sliders. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Sliders. It's like if you put Sliders and Guardian and kind of put Sliders and Guardians of the Galaxy together, this is what it kind of is. Because you have all the, because there's a lot of these oddball-like characters, and some of them are badass fighters. And then they all come together in this one family and then become heroes. You know? I mean, that it's like the DC's version of um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And, and, and there's sliders at the same time. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys enjoyed my review on Season 2, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe if you're a newbie to the channel. And thank you for watching as always. And... Guess we'll enjoy the you know the break from the you know from the three main shows until like later you know like later this month until they all come to a close you know for this season. So looking forward to seeing how each of them end. This one ended pretty decent. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>